that is a feel that you get from uh, these motorcycles, the Interceptor 650 yeah. or the GT650. It is not about going fast. It is not about uh, you know proving that you have a very powerful motorcycle. It is about you enjoying and fulfilling your own life. That is all about. Hello and welcome back to today's special podcast series. Buddies, how are you all so, doing? I hope you guys are doing great. And uh, after getting a lot of comments uh, for com- comparing different motorcycles, uh, Vikas uh, and I has, have decided that, okay, let's try to, you know, make a podcast on this uh, new yeah. kind of series where we will be comparing multiple motorcycles. Absolutely. Right. So Vikas Bhai, uh, remember uh, BSA has launched a new single cylinder 650cc right now, like a yes. few days back. So uh, we will compare three motorcycles, three or four motorcycles today. People dream of getting a, you know, a, maybe a parallel twin or something bigger compared True. to what they had before. So today and we are And it is the going, most uh, yes, practical absolutely. and achievable segment also, correct? So Absolutely. And yes. uh, you also have... Uh, you know, Interceptor 650 from this particular segment. I you have also the RC390 also. 390 as well. Yeah. So you can talk, uh, you can, you, you know, you can talk in detail about these motorcycles. And yes. uh, not just that, I have ridden uh, the uh, RS457 Aprilia mm-hmm. in the morning. Yes. So wow. it belongs to my friend. It's a very good motorcycle. Lovely. Right. So we will. Why don't we will, you take you know, a ride deep, deep and it? come over to Hyderabad, and I'll also experience the motorcycle. Ah, yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try. We, we can arrange that, or maybe whenever yeah. you're coming to Kolkata, <laughs> we will have a good, yes. you know, good ride here. Hmm. So, okay. So let's start. We'll not waste anybody's time. Uh, the first thing we will talk about is a single cylinder 650 cc. <laughs> I have experience with uh, this segment. Uh, so, my mentor owns a BMW 650F, 650 Funduro. Wow. Uh, beautiful motorcycle, single cylinder, 650cc. And uh, for me, it is like a motorcycle which is within the family. I have been riding that motorcycle since I was probably 18, 19 years old. And wow. uh, so that way, I have uh, experience with a similar motorcycle. That's wonderful. But uh, this BSA single cylinder, uh, 650cc, mm-hmm. don't you think that it's like uh, kind of too outdated right now? I mean, my only concern was the amount of vibrations it will have. True. Yeah. Yes. And uh, like you have the RC390 uh, that really heats up in traffic. I have also experienced it. But uh, yeah. I'm not sure about how this motorcycle will perform because the price point, it's very close to the Interceptor and the GT. Mm. So I think, you know, people would rather prefer to get something which has a parallel twin on it. So, yeah. so do you think that as a buyer, uh, given these options that are available in stock in India right now, like the RS457, we will talk about that also later on, but just the uh, uh, just the BSA Gold Star 650 and yeah. maybe an Interceptor 650. So what would be your choice, like from a buyer's perspective? Very uh, good question, Joe. So here, right. when you spoke about vibrations, so big single cylinders don't get vibrations. They have complete movement. You know, the whole Absolutely. body moves. Okay. Vibration is something which is irritating. You know, it's like a high frequency movement going ging, 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 up and down. So, right. uh, however, when a whole body of a motorcycle moves in a single big cylinder, that is not irritating. As a matter of fact, some people like it. You know, they feel that this is a nice... Uh, old school classy feel of a motorcycle so right. here with the bsa 650 it is going to be very specific to the buyer you know someone who wants old school charm 
Uh, when they crank up the motorcycle, if they want the motorcycle to kind of shake, then That's they would love feeling. it. Absolutely true. So, uh, see, personally, okay, even I like some level of good vibration or good movement in a motorcycle. Okay, because uh, in the end, it's a machine that is literally living, breathing. There is fire inside it. Correct? <laughs> so, we want <coughs> to Sorry. feel that the motorcycle is actually living when we sit on the motorcycle. Sometimes a few Honda motorcycles, even Honda Superbikes, like, uh, you know, my mentor, he owns a CBR 600 RR. Wow. Amazing motorcycle, but it is extremely smooth. You know, when you sit on the motorcycle, <laughs> when you rev her up, you feel nothing is moving. You only hear the sound, actually. So, <laughs> so that way, it is a very, very personal so, yeah, shot. Like the Japanese, absolutely. Yes. And now you you also have experience with the 390 series. Correct. So <laughs> little bit of vibrations is fine. But 390, uh, I think, yeah. Especially my RC 390, it has vibrations and also the whole body movement. Okay. okay. Especially the <laughs> RC 390 because the whole fairing vibrates when you accelerate. When it keeps aging. Okay. When the motorcycle is right. new, probably the fairing does not vibrate much. But right. Five years later, six years later, the fairing will start to vibrate and there is nothing much you can do about it. You have to start accepting her that way. You have to start accepting that behavior of her. So, Absolutely. Yes. So yeah, this BSA, uh, this Gold Star 650, it mm-hmm. comes with a five-speed gearbox. I mean, mm-hmm. a 650cc with a five-speed. Um, I mean, personally, I would not choose this. Uh, yeah, I would really go for the interceptor and I'm mm. pretty sure you would do the same. <laughs> yeah. So here I'll give you a scenario. Okay. Sure. So now you are probably 29 years old. Okay. Right. Now I am 40. So just think that if I am a 45 year old. All right. Now uh, I've kind of seen enough life so far. I have ridden super bikes. I've ridden uh, parallel twins, British motorcycles. And, Almost uh, everything that, that is there. Yeah. And now I want to gift something for my birthday to myself. And I want it to have a unique old school charm. And I don't Correct. want too many people to buy it. Okay. That is also something which matters to many of us. Uh, even if the motorcycle is not a great performer, we would want some exclusivity in it. So that way, you know, I can go and gift myself a BSA 650 for my birthday. It's not going to cost me too much money. It's not, exactly. it's not a 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs. So it is achievable amount of money. It's not going to break my bank. And it is going to be unique. I'm sure <laughs> not many are going to get sold. <laughs> so I'm pretty uh, sure that way, that. you know, it kind of becomes uh, a motorcycle, which someone who is into collecting will buy correct because uh, like uh, because why i was just doing some research on old school mo- uh, motorcycles like uh, yeah. you know the rx uh, 135 rx hundreds and all these. i have an rx also yeah wow <laughs> so uh, i mean the prices right now like for the collectors it's going up one yeah. lakh two lakh the right. rd 350 sells around three to four lakh rupees Correct. So if somebody, you know, they want to get something from that era, like the retro vibe and mm. uh, something like that. So they might actually end up buying this. True. I See, mean, uh, it looks old, I'll give you, but it's, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a practical example here. So I have owned quite a few sure. RX motorcycles. Okay, I've owned the RX 100, RX 135, and uh, we even... Uh, modified the RX 135 where she became a 150 cc and uh, wow. we imported pistons from Thailand all those things we did and I there is even a video on uh, my YouTube channel where I was uh, drag racing the RX 135 which is actually a 150 with uh, the R15 oh. and the RX was able to beat the R15 hollow till about 60 kilometers an hour so <laughs> so <laughs> these are great motorcycles to have fun with but there is no 
level of practicality. I'll explain why. So now, if someone wants to go ahead and buy an RX, it could be a 100 or a 135. Okay. There are two kind of RX motorcycles available right now. One is without papers, one is with papers. Without right. papers means, for an example, if my father owned an RX, it is still in my parking, I'm not a motorcycle enthusiast, then I would want to sell it to someone. Okay. But the papers are lost. My pa father passed away, the papers don't know where they are, they expired. So I can get a buyer, okay, where I will simply sign a paper saying that this is my father's motorcycle, I'm selling it to someone. So I'll sell it to that person for about a lakh, even without papers, okay, wow. if the motorcycle is well kept. So uh, now the person who's buying a motorcycle without papers for a lakh, the motorcycle could be in mint condition, original condition, but where will the person write? Get it? The There's person no will get stopped by cops immediately. The moment cops see a two-stroke motorcycle, they will stop you. Because they know most of the time you won't have papers. And even if you have papers, they can say too much smoke is coming out. There's that hundred reasons they can put. Got it? So even if you have papers <coughs> for the motorcycle, it will, yeah. she'll already be probably 25, 30 years old and renewing the registration could become difficult uh, with the new pollution norms right. and all of that. So, even after paying a lakh or so for the RX, she'll only be a collector's motorcycle. I'll have to start her in my parking, probably ride around my, you know, neighborhood, feel good, keep keep her back. That's all about it. Absolutely. Got it. So, here is where the BSS 650 will bring in practicality, brand new motorcycle with registration, insurance, everything, but you get the charm that you are having a old school motorcycle. All right. That's what Java did. I mean, Mahindra is the one bringing all these motorcycles. <laughs> but Java has so been a disaster, you know, on, on the face, I can mention. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know how right. the newer models are, but the first uh, initial models of initial the Java. Models. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I witnessed what happened to uh, one of my investors. He bought a Java for his father for the same old school charm. And sorry. the whole motorcycle's metal parts, chrome parts, started to rust only because of rainwater. I mean, motorcycles don't actually rust In just rust seven so days or eight days. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have the he, same experience yeah. with my friend's Java. So All we right. made a video, we, you know, we went to showroom and we showed them, they were like, keep, they kept replacing the parts, <laughs> but uh, like at the yeah. end, the, yeah, uh, you won't believe actually the showroom, the job, that particular dealership closed down hmm. and uh, now they are selling ethers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh wow. so that they Java, have... I mean, by the metal parts rusting so easily. That has been a big downside. And next, see, it looked old school, but when you sat on the Correct. motorcycle, the engine was a bit too smooth, isn't it? I mean, right, there right. was, the, yeah, something no Something from the, like Tarun was telling, it was from the, I think, uh, this uh, Mojo. And Tar Mojo Tarun was, was right. Like some, it was derived from the Mojo. They made a yeah. lot of changes. But I mean, I could feel that thing. Like it's, look. Mojo I mean, had too sounds, much vibration. Absolutely. Probably <laughs> they refined it a bit too much here and it became too smooth, Maybe. the Java. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, we were talking about the BSA Gold Star and uh, yeah. not surprised that it's selling uh, like decently in mm. Europe as well. But compared to the Interceptor or the GT650 sales, it's nowhere near. True. So, uh, I mean, people are actually, you know, preferring to buy the 650 twins from Royal Enfield rather than a Java, yeah. uh, rather than the BSA or uh, even some bigger bikes I have seen. So uh, See, if I would yeah. have been of your age, okay, why would I ever want to go and buy a BSA 650? Got it. Unless my father has been a collector and Absolutely. I've seen enough of motorcycles and I want to buy... Maybe my grandfather a had a BSA. Correct. <laughs> An some old sentiment. BSA. Correct. Got it. So, so, at your age, you would want a motorcycle, you know, which has got some glamour in it, you know. Uh, and now when I say glamour, it's, it's about the sound. It is about the look. Right. And when you sit on the motorcycle, open throttle, you want 
it to provide that acceleration you know the torque the horsepower everything put together so Absolutely. yeah i mean for a youngster definitely the interceptor or the gt makes way more sense absolutely <laughs> so yeah that was about the bsa gold star 650 yeah. and uh, okay so next we will be comparing the interceptor gt650 mm. with uh, the rs457 i, I mean oh. there's no way we, one should be comparing it but because our audience is like that i mean not our audience because uh, the buyers the indian motorcycle buyers they keep they will like this thing is trending on youtube also <laughs> yeah people are actually searching for gt650 mm. versus uh, the rs457 but we will surely you know do a comparison there's nothing wrong with it it is but, a uh, very absolutely. good question joe because see you and i also the audience of this youtube channel our instagram our audience is very very matured and evolved uh, in motorcycles okay but there are millions of other people who likes who like motorcycles also correct okay who correct. are just getting into the hobby and the lifestyle of motorcycles now they will get confused because for them they will not understand by the face value face values just by the look of it that the Aprilia is a different category of a motorcycle and the GT is a different category of motorcycle. They'll not understand that. Absolutely. I'll give you a simple example. Now, someone who is absolutely new into cameras okay, will not understand the difference between a DLS, DSLR and a mirrorless. Okay. So for that, a person has to be trained and understand what is a DSLR and what is a mirrorless. For them, everything is the same. It looks the same. So here... Also, uh, it's a very valid point that we need to discuss uh, that, uh, you know, the Aprilia and the GT650. Who should buy what? These are two genre, different genres. Absolutely different genres, yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, the, the first thing is you should get your, you know, like, uh, what thing do you want to get extract from that motorcycle? Ask yourself. So maybe somebody, he's just into, you know, performance. Maybe in future they want to uh, do drag days also. So for them, the RS457 will make more sense True. compared to a GT. Correct. But maybe somebody like me who's not into, you know, uh, even uh, you have the Interceptor. Uh, yes. You enjoy the, the, you know, the package it is, the way it is. Yes. So, uh, I mean, that's how we can first, you need, you ask yourself, uh, what is yeah. the purpose of getting the motorcycle? You will be doing long tours, you will be doing uh, tracks, you will be just, you know, for weekend rides or maybe just for the feeling. So, uh, for first me, thing is, personally, absolutely. Uh, the GT650 or the Interceptor 650, for me, the number one reason why I like them is I would like to put on a nice leather jacket. I have one. My mentor, he gifted it to me uh, wow. many years ago. Uh, it is a 20-year-old jacket got from Singapore. So uh, I like to put <coughs> on that leather jacket, you know, put on uh, blue denims, uh, black leather boots. Gives a different vibe. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, go to a nearby cafe or nice, pleasant ride in the evening. Uh, you know, that, that is a feel that you get from uh, these motorcycles, the Interceptor 650 yeah. or the GT650. It is not about going fast. It is not about, uh, you know, proving that you have a very powerful motorcycle. It is about you enjoying and fulfilling your own life. That is all about it. So, absolutely. So, however, yeah, so just uh, ask yourself, yeah. you know, the purpose. Correct. Just like you said, okay, the Aprilia is, as a matter of fact, a pure performance-oriented motorcycle. Okay. If I have to go to a cafe nearby my home, why would I want to take uh, the Aprilia? Correct? Uh, oh, and if I have to take someone for a ride, for an example, if I have a lover in my life, or if I want to take my son or daughter or anyone, you know, 
uh, for a ride then i would love to take them on a ride on an interceptor 650 correct you know if Absolutely. the seat is flat it is comfortable they can sit securely they can hold me but if it's uh, aprilia you know it, it i mean does it even have a rear seat uh, actually my friend uh, he got uh -huh. the cowl as well because the rear seat is very <laughs> small <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, I tried to sit sense. on it. No, yeah, absolutely. To have a rear seat. Not Correct. Practical, <laughs> at Correct. least for that bike. Yes. But uh, yeah, so that's the thing. You should ask yourself what the purpose of getting that motorcycle. You will straight away get your answer. If Vikas Bhai wanted to do track days, he will surely get. Maybe if uh, compared to a GT or a RS four five seven, he would have chosen the RS four five seven. If Absolutely. this was these two options were there, but uh, See, you know, taking Sid out on a ride, obviously yeah. the interceptor will make uh, more sense. Absolutely. Again, see uh, if this would have been the 2018 Vikas, where I used to ride on the highways at very high speed. The speeds, fast Vikas. Do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, you know, I used to do friendly races with other motorcycles, yeah. uh, you know, like the R3 and the RC390 and Dukes and all of them and the super bikes. So, uh, if this would have been that Vikas, then I would have first sure bought the Aprilia because if I go on a breakfast ride, 200 kilometer ride, Aprilia is going to be pure pleasure, high performance and way safer than any GT or any 650. Got it. When I say way safer, the brakes, the aerodynamics, the handling of the motorcycle. So everything is designed for high speeds. So it's very simple. You want thrill, Absolutely. you want fast motorcycle rides, uh, track days, then it is the Aprilia. Yeah. If you want peace of mind, you know, spare parts available. <laughs> if you want to take a pillion, <laughs> that's a it is factor. A interceptor. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And one mm. thing I noticed about between these two motorcycles, although I was not mm. comparing it, but the sitting posture, uh, the yeah. GT was more like, uh, I mean, more aggressive than the mm. this uh, RS457. The RS457 is more like the Ninja 1000 kind of uh, that... Uh, Lifted up. The body posture uh, that you're getting. Yeah. 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 See, generally, clip-ons for right. superbikes, they are actually below the level of... Uh, uh, you know, where they are clipped on. It is kind of like one right. inch lower to the front folks. Okay. And next come, same level like the RC390. Next come, okay, the clip-on bars which are slightly raised up so that you get a more uh, comfortable... Yeah, it's raised up, yeah. right. Hmm. This was raised up. Yeah. So it's, it's providing a very good comfortable riding posture. And... Mm. Uh, I did enjoy, you know, riding it. <laughs> so I think that answers the question that maybe users were confused between these two different category motorcycles. But like you have said clearly, the purpose is where you will get the answer. So you ask yourself what for what purpose you're buying that motorcycle. You will have a straightaway answer for that. <laughs> I will summarize it. If you want speed, okay. Of course, which is absolutely illegal uh, to ride yeah. very fast above the speed of 100, 120, 140, whatever. You know. But if you want speed, if you want performance, if you want aerodynamics, if you want top speed, if you want to ride so low, if you want to do track days, then absolutely no questions asked. It is the Aprilia. You know? you know, and if you are uh, more or less a family man or if you want to kind of have a motorcycle where you can take pillion also with you sometimes then it is the 650 series and the third the third category would be maybe if you, your grandfather had a bsa yeah. or a retro motorcycle then then it would be sure. the bsa gold star 650 <laughs> so we have got Absolutely. a good very good you know like ranking system by vikas <laughs> rachamala today <laughs> So, uh, audience, if you guys have any questions or any confusion um, uh, between any motorcycles of your choice, uh, please feel free to follow us. Then, you know, you can straight away ask your questions in the comment section. And Absolutely. Uh, Vikas Bhai and I will be happy to answer those things for you. 
Yes. So please follow us on Instagram. Follow Joe on his Instagram, me on my Instagram, and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. And uh, as always, we will see you again in the next episode. Thank you, buddies. Thank you.